are all the men in my family that I grew up either looking up to or currently looking over at. They uh, inspired me to be a better father, a better man. They make me better for them. Food is my love language for sure. I don't always have like words, I might not have time, but if I love you, I'm gonna make sure you fed. Hey, Josh, Dylan, breakfast. How y'all feeling? Okay. Good. Good. How about you? Solid, man. No complaints. Yeah, was it cool if I uh, take y'all somewhere today? There's this thing I've been doing for a long time I think you'll both like really benefit from. Especially you, since you've been stressed. <laughs> I think you need to figure out how to deal with that a little bit. It's cool? Yeah. Um, after you're done breakfast, get dressed and you're heading out. Huh? All right. But I have full custody of my 15-year-old son, Dylan, and my 17-year-old nephew, Josh. Three years ago, my son's mother and I came to the decision that it was time for my son to move cross-country to live with me. My son's mom has been a mother since she was 16, so her whole identity is wrapped up in motherhood and being a mom. So. It was a very selfless act, one that I'm extremely proud of her for making, to help allow me guide my son to the next chapter of life in the manhood. And then with my nephew Josh, my sister and I decided that he needed to know all of his options in life. You know, he was growing up in a rough neighborhood in New Jersey, and so when my son was coming out west, I said, hey, you might as well send Josh too. My son, Dylan, is an honors level student. He is a member of the Black Student Union. Uh, he's on the track team and he's a photographer. He's been taking that thing everywhere he goes. It took me a long time to be able to step back and be like, yo, this kid is amazing in his own way, his own right. I'm, I'm so thankful. And my nephew, Josh, man, that dude, he is involved in everything that a kid can be involved in. Football team, basketball team, track team. He is a member of the National Student Honor Society. He's an AP student. I don't know how he does it all. He has a job. Like, this kid just has the heart of a lion. They're just truly incredible human beings. Josh and Dylan are at that age where emotions are running high. They have some things going on emotionally that they're trying to navigate, they're trying to understand. I'm trying to give them all the tools, you know, to help navigate adolescence. Good. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. Everything feels so critical. Everything feels so intense for them. I want to try my best to give the kids tools that I wasn't prepared with growing up. Breathwork is something that has allowed me to sustain and maintain. So I want to take the kids to a breathwork class so that they can have something that has been so invaluable and so important to me in navigating hard times. Thank you guys for coming to our session today. So this is breath work, which means it's work. Uh, it's an ancient practice and creating safety within us. And no matter if it's chaotic outside of us, when you can do that inside, you can do that anywhere. The physical and the emotional part are probably the easier parts. The mental part is staying in the game. Like you have to breathe in that cyclical manner ongoing and your brain is gonna tell you this is physically uncomfortable. All of that, all the doubts, the fears are gonna come up. And so once you let go and you surrender, the physical also surrenders. Whether it's crying, laughing, you guys need to let it out. Because when you let it out, you don't carry that with you out in the world. You will feel emotions. It will feel crazy, <laughs> but you're gonna be safe. Take your mats. Shoes off? Yeah, get comfy. Breathwork is something that I've been doing since I was a kid. I can be pretty emotional, so sure I would coach myself, you know, ground. to breathe for the purpose of not having a panic attack. I want you to take three deep breaths, close your eyes. It's something that I just carry with me to this day. You know, when I'm in a, a situation that is high stress, high anxiety, something that is throwing me off, if I'm angry, breath work is something that has allowed me to, to sustain and maintain through hard times. How you feel? What's up? I'm lightheaded. Yeah, okay. he's real lightheaded. Take yeah. a beat, take a beat, take a yeah. beat. Yeah, take deep breaths in. That means you were doing it right, though. The breath is actually real magical because it's the only thing that'll calm you down. So you can close your eyes, take a deep breath through, in through your nose, and then sigh it out.
<laughs> I always said the toughest part about being a young parent is managing two sets of dreams. Well, three now that I have Josh. It's tough, it's daunting, it's exhausting. But I gotta have enough in the tank for them. I gotta have something in the reserve because not only are they trying to chase a dream, they're trying to identify what their dream is. Myself and other millennial parents who are giving their children tools to navigate the emotional trauma and drama of being a teenager or a kid is so very important, especially as black men. Our children are our children, right? We have to love them however they come, however they decide to show up in the world. And I'm so thankful that Dylan and Josh continue to decide to show up as good young men, as honest, as earnest, as hardworking. I know that they'll have moments when life tests them. I hope they pass with flying colors. And I hope they breathe. You got breakfast out of me, you got dinner out of me. I love y'all. Somebody gotta do the dishes, it ain't gonna be me. Cool? Cool. Good night, man. Love you. Rock, paper, scissors. Got you. <laughs> How you feel about it, Josh? I think it was relaxing, just getting away from school and work, taking time to spend with my family. What does the phrase emotional intelligence mean to you? Understanding how and why you're feeling your emotions about something can help you improve on the thing you're struggling with and also can help you respond to your emotions. So, I feel like I messed up on something. You ain't messed up today. Give me a hug. That was such a great response. Oh my God. Yo, honey. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what? That boy came from my nuts. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I think we're good.